we should be able to be claiming money to allow that to continue, whatever those circumstances. The Standards Committee overruled the independent commissioner's finding that Maria Miller had willfully overclaimed and should pay back £44,000. If they hadn't, this would probably be the day she left the Cabinet for good. Well, there's been some speculation that a high-profile announcement on cigarette packaging was suddenly rushed out this morning, perhaps to overshadow news of Maria Miller's expenses. The government is now minded to introduce standardised packaging after a detailed review concluded it would deter thousands of children from taking up smoking. Well, our health and social care correspondent, Victoria MacDonald, is with me now. So, perhaps a good day to very bad news. It did look like that. It was a very hastily arranged press conference and questions were actually asked there instead of about standardised packaging. Of course, we didn't get a straight answer. On the question of standardised packaging, this is a very important day for health campaigners. This is what they have wanted all along. It was an independent review undertaken by Sir Cyril Chancellor to look at whether standardised packaging will work. Now, what is standardised packaging? If you're eating your dinner, you may want to look away now, but it's this size with some pretty gruesome pictures on it. I mean, this one is of gangrene, smoking causes peripheral vascular diseases. These are the type of packages they're using in Australia. And Sir Cyril Chandler went to have a look, and he's come back and said that, yes, using the standardised packaging can have a modest but important reduction in smoking, and especially for children. Now, earlier, I asked him why this mattered, why it was so important. Because it's children's lives. It's, a, it's, it's lives of everybody in our society. It causes a lot of suffering. Uh, I mean, it affects children before they're born as well as after they're born. And it's costing the NHS a fortune. So what is the government's response? Now, the government has done a lot of U-turns on this, and there have been accusations in the past that, that David Cameron was going to bury it. What they said today was that they were going to have uh, another consultation, but they've promised that it will be only as short as possible, possibly start at the end of this month, and that they will then put draft legislation in. The other countries, Wales and uh, Northern Ireland, have said they'll do what we do in England, and Scotland is already putting plans in place. So it does look like it might finally happen. Thanks, Victoria. Badger news now. John. Well, plans to roll out the controversial Badger Cull pilot schemes across England have been dropped by the government after an independent report found